Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Welcome to day nine of Waxfront. You are going to love this video if you love skin peels and skin ribbons. It's one of my, it's actually one of my favorite ones I've done recently, this one. Uh, so this patient's come through very, very blocked up. Now you can see we've got very light material here. It looks quite dense, quite tough. A uh, little bit of a sheen to it though. So uh, our patient's been putting some olive oil in basically, which is what, what's giving it the sheen. So on first impressions, this looks like some very light colored wax, maybe a little bit of dry skin in there, uh, but uh, it totally wasn't. What we have here is a very thick, skin plug which is still attached to the canal walls on all sides so if you've never seen uh one of these kind of videos before we take the skin away sometimes what can happen inside the ear canal is the ear canal wall skin the top layer of the ear canal wall skin can dry out and form this kind of very leathery case that can wrap around itself and in extreme cases that's called keratosis obturance uh, but in this particular patient uh, it is just tough as old boots so we're using the uh, jobson horn here you can see pressing down on the top if you look just above the plug, you'll see a little white piece of skin stretching down constantly. And that's where we're pulling this husk, this layer of skin off the outside edge. Now, as we bring this out, which you'll see now in a couple of seconds, initially we thought we were getting a really good grip on the plug and the whole plug was gonna come away. But what you'll see in a second is it actually twists and it unfolds from the ear canal and you get a really good appreciation for how long this piece of skin is that's wrapped around in here. So as this comes away, there we are, take a look behind it. You can see it's still connected look, to that plug behind. So that's all we've done is really unraveled the end. We found the end of a piece of string, if you like, in a ball of wool, uh, or end of a piece of wool in a ball of wool. Uh, so you can see we've got a good grip here with the crocodile forceps. I'm making this little wiggling motion because a lot of this skin is still attached to the canal wall. So we're trying to kind of wiggle it to get it out. Uh, I always love it if we can get it out in one piece. Unfortunately, we don't in this one, but you can see we've taken a great big chunky bit of skin away there. Now, if we take a look behind, you'll see how this stretches like a little ribbon that disappears into the ear canal itself. So we're still working on the outside of the ear canal. Now you'll see it there as we move it, how deep that goes into the canal there. There we are. So as we start to pull this, unfortunately it shears off just at the end. So you can see now how that has formed this kind of outer layer around the outside and then it sort of wraps inside itself. So I'm just gonna get a good grip on this outside edge here and start to pull this piece down the canal. If we're lucky, it'll take another great big chunk out and bring the next sort of ribbon or the next end of that ribbon forwards. You can see how this is slowly, slowly coming out the ear canal here. Let's get a good grip. There we are. Look how long that piece is there. So that was taken then the, the sides at the front of the ear canal there and across the top of the canal wall. You can just start to see that plug in the center becoming a little bit more defined now we've taken these outer edges away. Look how when we pull this, watch that plug coming down the canal now. So don't forget this is skin and not wax here, guys. So as we pull this, you can see it drawing that next section, deeper section out. There we go, we're still going, we're still going. There's that little plug we could see at the end. So we're getting close to the end of this now. Um, let's take a look behind it. There we go. Now you can start to see the canal wall and how that dry skin coats and, and is stuck to the canal wall all the way down, almost right down on top of the eardrum. So we've got to give this a really good tidy up in here. Once this has happened once to a patient, it is more likely to happen again. So on in this uh, instance, I would advise a patient gets their ears checked quite regularly. I would probably like to see him again in six months to start with and see how that's gone uh, over that six month period. But we're going to get as much of this away as we can. Obviously, we don't really want to cause any discomfort here. So you'll see me go back to the suction tube. Now we know this isn't going to come out with suction, but I'm not aiming to get it out. What I'm aiming to do is take it off the canal wall slightly so I can get a good grip with the crocodile forceps because although you could work the jaw of the forcep down the side of it, it's going to be really uncomfortable for the patient. And for the sake of 10 seconds use of a, a, a different tool, you can make that whole process far more comfortable for our patient, which at the end of the day is our goal. We want them to come back and keep getting this done regularly. Uh, and if they have a good experience, they're more likely to do that. So we're just getting a good grip now look how that is really peeling away it's not causing any pain to the patient either this is the other thing that people think oh god it's skin it's going to be painful it's not painful it's dead skin so it's coming away so you'll feel lots of pulling sensations in there uh, so it's just coming away there we go out that comes look at that husk it is just a layer that's built all the way around the ear canal wall there 
and we've still got more in there. Now you'll start to see this pinker colored skin. So the white skin layer you can see is almost like a, a very thin dead layer, uh, which is what becomes this, what you're seeing now. Uh, but the pinker layer underneath, that's the fresher skin. Now if you watched yesterday's video, you saw we had a sluffy skin. So this uh, white, almost like when uh, somebody said in America, they call it when your fingers go pruny when you're in the, in the water for too long. Uh, somebody posted in the comments, but um, here in the UK, you'll know they get that kind of white uh, sort of sheen to your skin when it's been wet for too long. Now that's what this kind of sluffy skin is. Now this has dried out this skin here, so it becomes tougher. There we are, I've taken that away, but you'll just see this little, little white bits underneath. There we are, so we can see the eardrum there now. We've got a little bit of discoloring for the drum as well. You can see that little black spot on there. Uh, nothing to worry about that. It's, uh, it's just almost like a little bit of a dent in the eardrum, really. Nothing else going on there. But what you'll see here is this skin that we're taking away, that harder skin. See how you get that white, almost sluffy skin underneath? Now the difficulty here is you could just keep pulling this and you're gonna get some bleeding in here. Um, and it also leaves that patient really at risk of uh, infection as well. So what you'll see me do in a second is go the other way. So try and draw it away uh, from the, the back of the plug, uh, the back of the layer, sorry, and draw, draw this forward. But it's really holding on there tightly. We've got, oh, there we are, it's just gone now. We've got this ear canal nice and clear now. We can see the eardrum clearly. Look at what we removed though, guys, six and a half centimeters, two and a half inches worth of skin from one ear canal. <laughs> I told you you'd enjoy this, didn't I? It was immense, it was such a lovely one to do. And the patient, bless her, was feeling so much better after this, after all this was gone as well. I couldn't get over the difference in their hearing as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed day nine of Waxfront. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other Waxfront videos, go back and check out one through eight. They're good videos on there today. Um, so as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears and take care of one another. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye everyone.